In a bold new step toward modernizing its air defense, India has launched a mission to blind the enemy before they even strike. The Defense Research and Development Organization and the Indian Air Force have joined forces to develop an Advanced Electronic Warfare or EW system with a specific target in mind, AVAX aircraft or airborne warning and control systems. These are the flying command centers of modern warfare. Aircraft like Pakistan's Saab 2000 EDI or China's KJ-2000 equipped with powerful radar domes that can track hundreds of targets from over 400 kilometers away. In a conflict, whoever sees first usually wins. AVAX are the eyes and brains of the battlefield. They coordinate fighter jets, detect threats from afar and help direct air defense responses. India saw this firsthand during Operation Sindur in May 2025, when both India and Pakistan relied heavily on their AVAX fleets. Pakistan's EDI played a key role in coordinating its air defence network, while India's own platforms tried to stay one step ahead. But there was a catch. India's jamming system struggled to fully disrupt enemy radar operating from high altitudes. Ground-based jammers, limited by terrain and the Earth's curvature, simply couldn't reach far enough. That vulnerability exposed a critical gap, one that this new EW system now aims to fix. At the heart of this project is cutting-edge technology. The DRDO is developing a system built around Active Electronically Scanned Array or ASA and Digital Radio Frequency Memory or DRFM, two pillars of modern electronic warfare. ASA-based jammers don't just broadcast noise, they precisely target enemy radar beams, sending signals that can confuse, block or mislead the enemy. According to IEEE studies, ASA jamming can disrupt radar signals with over 90% effectiveness in simulations. But the real game-changer is DRFM, a system that captures incoming radar pulses, modifies them and sends them back with deceptive data. Imagine a radar operator seeing phantom fighter jets where none exist or missing the real ones entirely. That's the level of confusion DRFM can create. India's goal is to mount these systems on mobile ground vehicles to create a powerful denial zone, an invisible bubble where enemy AVACs can no longer operate effectively. But this is not just about defense, it's about strategy. Neutralizing a Chinese AVAX near the LAC or jamming Pakistan's EDI in wartime could cripple the enemy's situational awareness, giving India full control of the skies. It's a silent weapon, one that doesn't shoot but can blind. Just as important is the fact that this entire system is being developed indigenously. A comparable imported platform could cost upwards of $500 million, according to defense analysts. By going local, India is not just saving money, it's reducing dependency on foreign vendors in line with the Make in India push and long-standing calls for self-reliance in sensitive tech. Of course, there are challenges, miniaturizing these high-powered systems, making them terrain-adaptive and ensuring seamless integration with existing networks isn't easy. The system will need to work not just in deserts and plains, but in the rugged Himalayas and coastal regions, each with its own signal interference risks. Still, the payoff is enormous. Initial testing is expected to begin within the next two years. Once operational, this EW system could become one of India's most potent tools in future conflicts, a quiet disruptor that can blind and paralyze enemy command centers without firing a shot. The message to adversaries is clear. You may bring the best radar planes in the fight, but India's skies may not let you see at all.